Mwaka wa 2020 utasalia kuwa mwaka ambao jamii ya wanasayansi duniani itajivunia kuwa ni watafiti na wanafamasia waliungana na kuunda chanjo za COVID-19. Miezi michache tu baada ya virusi vya corona kutangazwa kuwa tandavu hata hivyo ulimwengu unapotarajia kuona mwisho wa corona virusi vingine vinazidi kukejeri juhudi zote za wataalamu wa tiba na virusi vya HIV ambavyo husababisha ukimwi na hakuna chanjo ya HIV wala tiba kamili na muahiga maura anatafuta kujua iwapo ulimwengu utapata chanjo ya HIV hivi karibuni Maisha yake yalibadilika na mwezi Machi mwaka 1990 alipopatikana na virusi vya HIV baada ya kujifungua mwanawe wa pili katika hospitali ya Pumwani hapa jijini Nairobi and uh, I remember my father my mother saying that maybe somebody had bewitched me and I was even taken to see uh, a medicine man somewhere I think in uh, somewhere near the city stadium and he said ah he touched my hand and said Yes. There's something I don't know what he said. But then he gave us concussions. We came back with them and my mother boiled and I never took those things. Baadaye alipiga moyo konde na kuikubali hali yake mpya na huku akisaidiwa na familia, ushauri na saha na kumeza dawa, akifuata maagizo kwa makini, ameishi maisha ya kuridhika licha ya kuwa na changamoto. Uh, I've taken the medication. And right now you can say that uh, I'm undetectable. That my viral load is undetectable and I cannot transmit to a sexual partner. Watu wanaoishi na virusi vya HIV wamekabiliana na misimu ya matumaini ya kufanikiwa pamoja na misimu ya kufeli, misimu ya kufanikiwa kupata dawa zinazoonyesha kuwa HIV inaweza kumalizwa na misimu ya kufeli kwa majaribio ya dawa za HIV. I know there was a time when uh, it was said that if you take your urine, the early morning urine, that it was a, uh, that it was a treatment. And I'm telling you my dear just the other day we had the same in Tanzania where everybody rushed for the bubble cup I know that quite a number of people stopped taking ARVs number of people stopped taking TB medication and they died Mtaalamu wa magonjwa ya kuambukizana katika taasisi ya utafiti wa matibabu nchini Kemri Profesa Matilu Mwau alipoandika tasnifu yake ya shahada ya uzamifu aliangazia utafiti wa chanjo ya HIV katika maabara yake ya Kemri, Profesa Matilu anaeleza ni kwa nini miaka 44 baadaye bado hakuna chanjo ya HIV iliyoidhinishwa. Initially people thought making an HIV vaccine was going to be slam dunk easy eh, because they thought ah because HIV can stimulate neutralizing antibodies therefore it should be easy. The fact of the matter is has been so hard because the place that you need to neutralize is hidden in the envelope and you need to expose it that exposing somebody needs to come up with that kind of science there right miongo mingi ya utafiti wa chanjo ya HIV imerahisisha uvumbuzi wa chanjo za COVID-19 bila ya kutarajiwa the HIV pandemic is the one that drove people to invest so much in molecular biology to invest so much in molecular biology, including sequencing so when the coronavirus outbreak occurred Within a very few days people already knew how the genet- the genome of that virus is organized because they had sequences in place already. Watu zaidi ya milioni 38 wangali wanaishi na virusi vya HIV duniani. Watu milioni 1.7 waliambukizwa mwaka 2019 huku wagonjwa 1690 wa ukimwi wakiaga dunia mwaka jana.